This quick video will share the steps of completing a chrome guided smile case on a dentate patient single arch, in this case a maxillary. Chrome guided smile fundamentally changes full mouth implant surgery. Chrome's immediate protocol utilizes superior industry leading metal fixation, floating metal guide technology, an excellent visualization and irrigation design, and is much less invasive than other guides. Chrome also offers an easy to convert final prosthetic protocol and the most advanced technology and technical support in the industry. We know you'll be amazed. Most Chrome cases start with a preview smile. The smile simulation helps to make sure that the doctor, the laboratory, and the patient are on the same page. Our smile simulations are beautiful. They're completed by a company called Preview, and we think they're the most amazing smiles in the industry. If you're sharing these on a large screen TV with a patient, it will simply amaze the patient. We have a smile catalog where the patient or you can choose different smiles for the smile simulation. The records for a chrome case. For a maxillary chrome case uh, dentate, we require uh, specific photographs, full face, full smile, and left, right, center retracted. The retracted images are always in occlusion so that we can confirm that the articulation is perfect. Uh, if the patient is a class two or class three, also send profile images and send images of lips at rest. The master casts, these can be digital or analog. Be sure to capture all the land areas, especially on the maxilla, must capture the palate for the backup denture and capture the vestibules as the first step of the process is to seat the pin guide and the pin guide often goes into the vestibule. You'll also send a cone beam CT, and with a dentate case, the teeth are always separated. Have the patient bite on cotton rolls or on the bite stick, the bite fork on the scanner, and capture uh, as much anatomy as possible from teeth to the sinus or from the top teeth to the chin, depending on which arch. If we need to open a bite more than two or three millimeters, we use a product called the JC Try-In. This is a hard plastic uh, flipper, if you will, that you try in, make sure it's perfectly seated, and then equilibrate. So let's go through a case really quickly. This is the comb beam. This is the digital imp uh, analog impressions, and then the required photographs. Once we have all these records, we digitize them, we bring them into our software, we prepare the case so that the bone reduction, the implant placement, the new setup, the smile design, everything is in the plan so that we can spend 15 minutes to 30 minutes uh, reviewing the plan and approving it and preparing the case for you. With all Chrome cases, there's a five day, 10 day rule. F once the records arrive and they've all been approved, then we take five days to work up the case for the online meeting. Once the online meeting is finished, we take 10 days to fabricate and ship. We always ask that the office do not set the surgical time, the surgical date until after the online meeting is complete. And then we fabricate the Chrome surgical package. These are the components of Chrome. This is a pin guide. This is the fixation base, the metal. The carrier guide seats on top of the fixation base the osteotomy guide, and the long-term prosthetic and the rapid appliance pickup for the simple uh, long, uh, for the simple conversion to the final prosthetic. Along with the surgical guides, we also send what we call a surgi uh, surgery mat, and this will be uh, taped to the wall. This is about 12 inches tall by 24 to 30 inches wide. It gives instructions on the surgical kit and it lays out visually what the guide should look like in the mouth. It's a very helpful tool. And then always note that there are that there may be notes up here from the online meeting for specific things to do to get started. This is the surgery mat that sits on the counter. This helps you organize the specific parts and pieces on the counter prior to starting surgery for good organization. The chrome surgery. The first step is to anesthetize the patient. Next is to try in the pin guide and make sure that it seats perfectly with no rock. It is removed and then the labial flap is lifted up to the top of the pin guide and a little bit further so that you can accept the fixation base. 
The pin guide and the fixation base are clipped together using the chrome locks and they're seated and then they are held fast by the doctor or hopefully by the assistant and it is held throughout the entire pinning process. The doctor will send a, the, the, the pin drill full depth transcortical through the sites. There are usually four, but sometimes just three sites. So the drill will be go, will go all the way to full to depth and then a pin is placed the pin is in a step down coordinated size with the drill. So you may need a surgical mallet to tap them in, especially in the mandible, in the maxilla, perhaps just a small tap, but have a surgical mallet prepared. Once the pins are seated, then the pin guide can be removed and everything above the fixation base will be reduced. Teeth are extracted, bone is reduced down to the level bone is leveled, the, pin gu the, the carrier guide can now be tried in to make sure that it's passive. If it's passive, then you, then you know that there's been enough bone reduced. If not, reduce more bone and seat this again until it's passive. At this point, you can try in the prosthetic just to test to see what the bite is like. And then they are both removed, and then the osteotomy guide is seated. The osteotomy guide comes in a few different variations depending on the guided kit and how far along we are with our development. Uh, today, there will be two nubs, or perhaps six, depending on the guided kit that you're using, and these will indicate indexing, rotating of the implants according to the specific implant and implant mount and guided kit. In this case, uh, these are angled. There, This is a little bit older design, but this has a, a hex on it and a little mark for the rotation. So seat the osteotomy guide go through the progression with the fully guided or partially guided kit. It has to be a guided kit though, not a regular kit. The spoons, the hubs, the tools will be used to make the osteotomies. Then the implants are placed through the osteotomy guide. Once the implants are in, you'll seat the, you'll seat the carrier guide and then you'll place the MUAs. The carrier guide has notches. These will help guide the instruments the, uh, the, the, the drivers to make sure that the abutments are placed in the exact right rotation. As you can see here, it was accomplished perfectly. It's Dr. Weijin Li, a local periodontist we work with. I thank her for the photographs. Once the abutments are in, then the temp cylinders are placed. Then the gaskets are seated over the temporary cylinders. The long-term prosthetic is seated. The blue plugs are placed in the temporary cylinders for block out and then just simply use your flowable uh, material to inject and to fill the void between the prosthetic and the temp cylinders to attach the two together. Then the second pickup, once the first pickup is completed, the second pickup is the rapid appliance. This will require another set of temporary cylinders, but you can reuse the green gaskets and the blue plugs and pick this second one up, which is very important to have two sets of temporary cylinders. So this is removed. It is taken back into the laboratory where a technician or, a, or an assistant will just simply fill the voids, adjust, polish, uh, remove a cantilever. In, in most cases, the cantilever, in, in, in the, all cases, a cantilever will be removed before it comes to surgery. This particular technician likes to remove them himself and that is perfectly fine too. But when we ship them, the Rapid appliance will have an, it will have an extension, but the long-term prosthetic will not. The prosthetic is ready for delivery. While the prosthetic was being converted, the fixation base and the pins were all removed. The patient was sutured. Healing collars were, uh, comfort caps were placed. And now the prosthetic is delivered. Screwed down, equilibrated, and the holes are filled with some type of flowable. It's a very nice case. In this case, we also made an opposing bite proof. We can share pictures of that to idealize the occlusion because a patient has a future chrome on the lower. Very nice day. Nice day of surgery. Thank you, Dr. Weijin Lee, for sharing these images. And that is chrome guided smile in a single arch dentate situation.